so if you kill them and they don't give you your shield back, you've got to go buy a fighter's shield from a shop and then go to the waterfall of wishing again to get the red shield again. Mm -hmm. So that one guy's doing his aesthetic training here. Taros. The bull? Yeah, that's those bull guys with the staff. Hmm. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Nope. Hey, remember the um, main mechanic of this game, though? Stabbing people, gotcha. Not exactly, but okay. It's worked for me so far. <sighs> hey, when projectile meets projectile. Arrow for his eyes, ha ha. <sighs> Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. How could you know? You don't know that. You didn't know the dark world existed. He's been studying for a long time. He is old. I do like the fact that of all the things they could have done for Link Between Worlds, they still just have a uh, Sahasrala. It's just like his descendant. Mm. It's just like, really? Of all the things you could have chosen, you just decided, yeah, we'll just do another Sahasrala. It's just him again. Don't worry about it. It's just like his descendant. All right, when I leave this place, I'm going to say something, and I don't know if it'll upset you, but it'll be funny. <laughs> when I properly leave this place, I, I just screwed up the, the thing here. <laughs> I'm expecting snakes, not bombs, but... You know what else it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Get stick bug sucker. It <laughs> <laughs> just mages as a stick bug shows up. I can only imagine that that spear with the rounded tip. It's like it's definitely you see it more in like the Japanese mythology kind of thing more than like. I think actual, like, guards or something would use. Like, the only thing I can think is that it would be really good as a swinging weapon. But all the dudes use it as a stabbing weapon. Like in here? Yeah. They're like, everybody here uses it as a stabbing weapon because they're chasing at you trying to poke you with it. When, like, it's not good as a stabbing weapon, but it would probably be phenomenal. Like, it's probably a weighted tip. Like a metal sphere or something, just with a cloth wrapped around it. Probably really good for whacking somebody with. I think it reminds me of those instruments they use to ring bells. Like, those gongs. You just take those things and go... Kong. Yeah. Wait a minute. Naka. Have I walked into a water temple in a Zelda game? No! 
You just may have. Well, at least it can't get worse. It's not necessarily an ice temple in a Zelda game. That's true. Be a real pity if we ran into one of those. Oh, probably the worst. <laughs> God, that is so weird. Just like the first room is just, here's a key and a door for the key. I think you did have to kill all of the uh, water striders to get that chest to appear, though. So, like, it was something. Just an introduction to your dungeon mechanics. You're gonna be killing a lot of things and getting a lot of... Okay. Getting a lot of keys. Okay, do you mean keys as in keys or bats? Keys. Keys as in keys. Not keys, keys. You know, I always thought that those, uh... Those little slime things weren't the Zoles. They just popped up here mm -hmm. to attack me. And I thought, like, oh, those are those things. They kept them around a lot longer than yeah, I thought Yeah, that makes they sense did. for those to be Zoles. When you just need some little punk. Yep. Then I think uh, Majora's Mask inter introduced the Choo Choo's. Is that their name? The Choo Choo's? Choo Choo's, yeah. Yeah. Introduced them, and then that was pretty much it for the. The Zoles. I don't think they really showed up anymore. I mean, Choo Choo's are in this game. They are? Yeah, those little cactus guys wandering around that when you stab, you get electrocuted. Just like a real Choo Choo. I don't think they're called Choo Choo's, but they're like. They're not. They're called St. Nels. Yeah, but like, functionally, they're identical to Choo Choo's. Like, a choo-choo is just one of them, but renamed. I cannot find anything on that staff with a rounded tip. I tell you, I think it's more mythology. I mean, that's what I'm looking for. I can't even find it there. Like, I know it's a thing, though. He's called a buzz blob. Buzz blob? Yeah. I think I really only show up in here and then Link's Awakening. Oh man, I'm lucky I got that key. Like, that's, that's literally a choo-choo, though. Hmm. I'm just being quiet because I'm just uh, upset with you because you're, con you're considering those things choo-choos. I'm just very upset with you now. It's like emotionally ruined. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. Kukamon? It's the potato that they turn into when you hit them with magic power. Hmm. Kukamon? Kukamon? I think it's Kukamon. It's like Cucumber Man or something mm, like that. Maybe that's it. Cuke Man. Yeah, it's probably Cuke Man after a cucumber. Um, apparently, they were called a potato head in the official Nintendo Player's Guide for A Link to the Past. That's stupid. Um, however, that is considered non-canon. Of course it's considered non-canon. They call him Potato Head. Also, it's a registered trademark. I'm pretty sure they get in trouble for that. Yeah, and, like, they changed... It was just the player's guide. Like, even though it was the official player's guide, it was still just the player's guide. And in the official art and artifacts book, they were referred to as the Cuke Man. Those are the ones that do the, uh, in the German version of Link to the... Link's Awakening, the original one, not deluxe or anything beyond that. Mm-hmm. If you scroll down, they usually have, like, trivia... 
at the very bottom, not at, like any specific page. Yep, right there. Stop the war, give peace a chance. <laughs> One of them like specifically asked for getting a condom. Yeah. It's like the weirdest stuff, and it was like, don't don't know why they put that in there. Or why somebody allowed that to happen, but other releases afterwards changed it. So it yeah, I feel like somebody definitely snuck somebody caught it. Yeah, I feel like somebody snuck that in, and then <laughs> somebody caught it afterwards, and was just like, "No, sir, Steve, you're fired." <laughs> Guten Tag, Hans. You are fired for this bullshit you put into our game. The translation of our game. <laughs> but Hans, I need to. I need my job to feed my children. Hans, Hans, and Hans. What about your hi? What about your wife, Gretel? It's like this guy only knows like two German names, <laughs> and I don't think he understands what German is. Yeah, I only think he knows what strong bad is, because he kind of eventually runs into that. Hey, I don't always go back into the strong bad. <laughs> Sometimes I go into Wario. <laughs> I always makes fun of a every accent. Why does he make fun of other accents? Why well, dare you see? I sometimes I just like to make fun of certain accents every once in a while. It's just that old darn fun, you know. Now how about some waffles with maple syrup? Wouldn't that be grand? So you're saying you hate pancakes. That's the next sentence, moron. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything about a connection between them and Choo Choo's. Yeah, because you're but apparently wrong. In four, but apparently in Four Swords Adventures, the Buzz Blobs were even able to jump at you, making them literally Choo Choo's. Well, see, your problem is, is you're remembering Four Sword Adventures, and even Nintendo doesn't remember that. Well, the wiki remembers it. The well, yeah, wiki cause never forgets. Cause the wiki's run by the Zelda nerds. They're the kind of people who remember that there used to be, like, you know, a male Garuda that would reincarnate every once in a while. Who remembers that? <laughs> Only nerds. See, we forgot about that as soon as we realized it was going to be problematic for us making games in the future. Somebody did comment, and I think we said it before, that it would be kind of interesting to have a male Garuda reincarnate, mm -hmm. and that would be the link of the game. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'd do that. This is definitely one of those Nintendos, like, we don't think that deep in our games kind of thing. Even though Zelda is their deeper game. Yeah, and they seem to be pretty set in stone. Seem to be pr pretty set in stone on... No, Link is the hero of courage. He's your protagonist. And I think somebody said, like, Hey, but what if there was a game where Zelda was th the protagonist? And their argument was, like, that Link always had to be the one with the Triforce of Courage. And... So we couldn't have, like, Zelda be the Link or something. And sure, Link can still have the Triforce of Courage. Your protagonist doesn't have to be that person. Have Ganon show up and go, Okay, this little Link piece of crap has been trouble for me for the last, like, 10,000 years. I'm going for him first. There is supposed... Kidnaps him somewhere, and then Zelda's like, Ah, crap. I think to learn how to swing a sword. I mean, that, I think that was the plot point of Wands of Camelot. I mean, it was, so let's just do that, but, you like, you know... Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly, there is a rumor going around that there might be a Zelda game coming out soon. Hmm. We kind of just had a Zelda game come out. No, no, no. Zelda, Zelda. Oh. I mean, look, if they can give Princess Peach her own games, they can give Zelda her own games. Yeah. Apparently people are upset that the Peach game was, like, too easy. It's and a Peach like, game! It's, it's Peach. Like, I'm not expecting the diff most difficult game ever.
It's a peach game! Who do you think the intended audience is for that, and who do you think is likely to play a Kaizo hack? Because these two audiences do not touch. Unless you just got some really... I mean, they may touch, but I was not say, to a degree that will sell a video. I was going to say, it's like, unless you got, like, some boss-ass, like, little girls that are just, like, really good at Kaizo games and just like, Get on my level, scrub lord! And it's like, jeez! I still gotta pick that game up. I wanna play that game. I am surprised you haven't, because you keep talking about how you wanna get it. I thought I would've done it. I just keep forgetting about it. I think you got other things on your mind, too. Than, like, picking up another video game. I got stuff to do. I got Doom mods to make. I got Doom mods to make. I got work to do. Anybody been upset about my, uh... Rather dismal performances in dungeons where I usually just come in already wounded and I keep getting wounded more. And they're probably just like, God, how does he keep getting hit by everything? And it's like, um... Funsies? I'm just here to swing a sword. I see an enemy, I'm gonna swing a sword at them. And that said, um... <laughs> like so, I said, like that, I said before. That said, stop being shit at this game. Yeah, that said, cut it out. <laughs> we have a reputation to keep on this channel. Reputation. Yes, we are average gamers at best. Please. No, all things considered, um, as I said before, Link to the Past is not actually an easy game. You just kind of will take damage. Like, at higher, at higher levels, once you get, like, practiced at the game, of course you'll take less damage, but it's very likely that you will just get hit by stuff. So, yeah, don't, not, don't worry about taking some damage. I'm not a fan of those little things. Because, like, they don't splash on your shield or anything. They just run into you. Nope, they do bounce around in a predictable way, though, so you just have to dodge them. Never got to that lesson. Besides, I don't, I don't drive for. Uh, do you? <gasps> do, you the, do you have the compass? Yes. Okay. This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts, and boing. It can grapple many things. <laughs> it, it's the hook shot of many things. Oh, and... I pulled the death card. <laughs> And now, and now the hookshot becomes your secondary weapon for pretty much ever. Forever? Not five evers, four Five ever. ever. No, just oh, four ever. Five Maybe e three ever, because you do actually change sometimes. Okay. Not six ever, is it? Oh, it's certainly not six ever. No, six ever would just be too much. Too much. But um bum bum yeah, and I say that because the hookshot they call is... call me Heat Miser. And I say that because functionally the hookshot is very similar to the... Boomerang? Uh, boomerang, bow and arrow. Yeah, it's very similar in functionality to the boomerang, the bow and arrow. Like, it's a ranged attack. It can do it pretty much everything that the boomerang can. It can grab items and bring them back to you. It'll hurt enemies, it'll kill weaker enemies, and, um... If it won't kill them, That's it'll, like, thought. stun bigger enemies. It's kind of just like, what if you combined the boomerang and the bow and arrow? Doesn't take up ammunition. Probably why it became a staple of the series. Yeah. And it can zip you around the room. You know, I remember hearing about uh, Zelda's adventure 
in the, like the third CDI game. Yeah, I remember hearing about that in some like Nintendo Power or something, and thinking like, oh yeah, there's a Zelda game where you play Zelda. That's neat. And it sat in the back of my head and was immediately discarded and forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Like, the world forgot about it because it's one of the CDI games. <laughs> I think there's a reason the world wanted to forget about it. Yeah. But, like, I retained that knowledge for years. Of, like, but wasn't there a Zelda game where you played as Zelda? I swear there was a Zelda game where you played as Zelda. And it took me a... V and I had very distinct memories of it. I thought of it as a game that uh, looked like... Kind of like Illusion of Gaia. Like, I had... A high opinion of it. I'm sh honestly shocked you're gonna consider it equal to Illusion of Gaia, but... Well, on. no, this is my memories of it. <laughs> I was gonna say... While I was still trying to figure out what the crap it even was. And it was years later that I finally looked into, like the other games and the CDI games and whatever, and I found, like, oh, there was this other CDI game where you played as Zelda. And I looked at it and went, that's the game I was thinking of. This is the game that looks like garbage. <laughs> I was really thinking this was something, and it is most assuredly not. I'm surprised they advertised those in Nintendo Power. I don't know if it was Nintendo Power or just some gaming magazine I saw somewhere. It could have been, I don't know, something somebody brought to school and showed me, like, Hey, look at this cool gaming magazine. Look at all this cool stuff in here. Yeah, those, like... And there was I, just, I like... I call them unofficial. Yeah. It was just some little thing in the corner of, like... A couple screenshots. There's a Zelda game where you play Zelda. Ain't that something? Ain't that neat? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it could be neater, but it you could didn't make be, it naked. But it but sure you, wasn't. But you didn't make it neat. You made it poor and awful. And you feel shame for yourself. Shame upon you and your family. Shame. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh, that these guys drop hearts, but I just kind of want to see. And they really used real people. Yeah, I don't think so. I think they specifically mentioned that that's like their staff they just picked out. Like the people who work there. They just picked them up and were just like, yeah, you're gonna be Zelda. Go get Jim. I think they put they put like a trivia entry on this guy's page that just says like he was played by this guy who was the accountant. Oh my god, that's scary! <sighs> I slashed at that thing. That jellyfish killed it, and then this Zool thing showed up right at the spot I was at, and I thought like, did I freak out the game? What happened? <laughs> Oh, you don't even get a portrait. What, what a loser. Sherm. Shermock. What the heck's a Shermock? It's Zelda's Guide. It's about tree fitting. Wait, isn't Zelda Guy's Impa? That's like her whole no, point. No, in Zelda's Adventure. In the bad game. Oh, I know, but it's like... Isn't that the whole point? It's like, they, that's Impa's whole thing, is she's Zelda's guide throughout everything? I don't think Impa existed yet. What? Impa existed for years! 
She's in, like, the manual for the first Zelda game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, this is a CDI game. You think they give a crap? That, that is true. Shermock isn't, uh, resident either. Just someone Zelda ran into in the new area. Hmm. And was like, sure, I'll help show you around. Yeah, I guess boss already. Alright, whatever. Probably gonna die anyway. Oh no, apparently she did know Zelda since Zelda was a child. Like a nanny? I guess. So you mean like Doesn't Kimpa? say. Just says whom she has known since Zelda was a child. So you know, it's just the CDI not paying any attention. It's the CDI who's just like, we forgot what info was because Nintendo just gave us this property. And got we made it. three games. We gotta have a Link, a Zelda, a Ganon, got a Hyrule, and a Triforce. That's all we need. They get four games. Even a Triforce is questionable. They get four games to do these things. And three of them are Zelda, and one is Mario. That feels weird. Right? Like, I know there were... I, it there, was Hotel Mario. Oh, why? The, yeah, it was Hotel that's Mario. We, that was your choice. Yeah. All toast is toast, toast. Um... I know there was, like, supposed to be another follow-up to Super Mario World... But it's like, was Zelda that more popular than Mario that they just decided to make three Zelda games? Ha ah, I stole all your stuff. What are you going to do now? Going to mess you up. Oh, he's mad. Did I just iframe him? You can, actually. You're invincible while your thing is out. Oh, no! <laughs> See? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do you much for killing him. I remember this boss from Majora's Mask. <gasps> Wait a minute, did Link to the Past rip off Majora's Mask? No. <laughs> That's not how time works. Yes, that was the secret all along. <laughs> They've been time traveling this whole time. They, they actually have an Ocarina of Time at Nintendo. <laughs> How do you think Miyamoto's lived so long? He's actually 8,000 years old. Ow, bitch. This got really easier all of a sudden. Yeah, again, moves in a predictable pattern, and as long as you're moving around, you have a chance, like, you can see where the shadow is. Like, honest to god, I thought it was gonna so be- So fall on you. Oh my god, I was kind of waiting for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I kind of expected for a guy with a big eye to be maybe only vulnerable from the front, but no, he's vulnerable from the side and behind. Yeah, he's just so. a big old squishy guy. Can't do anything to him. Or, can't do anything in response to you. Just a big squishy guy. Also, I'd like to point out here for everybody who was probably annoyed at the fact that I was so low on health the whole time. <sighs> didn't die once, didn't even use a fairy. What you gonna do about it? Get good, scrub lords. I was wondering why you didn't spin attack him, though. Shut up. <laughs> Earl, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant you the... Wait, wait, wait. You're not gonna make fun of my name? Earl, I have a speech to go through. We don't have that time. The Triforce will grant you the wishes will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. How did that not work in the first two games, Earl? There have barely been three games in this series. They have not established any continuity between any of them. Hell, for the first game, there were only two Triforce pieces. And they called it the Triforce. Yeah, and you have to collect the entire Triforce. You get just get one of them and you don't get to make a wish. I like the fact that apparently if you decide, if, I guess if you have power over a Triforce piece, you can just decide to smash it to pieces. Hmm. So if Zelda did that in Zelda 1, did, who did that for Wind Waker? Because it was broken to pieces. Probably Zelda again. Or the king. Cause like, like Ganon wants that Triforce, he's not going to do it. 
Well, obviously, yes, but it was just one of those, I just kind of figured it's like, did did that link, did Ocarina of Time Link break it, or did want somebody else break it? I highly it? doubt Link did it. Probably either Zelda or the King. Yeah, I think it was probably one of them, because they did have to wish for the world to flood. Did they wish for that, or did the goddesses just look at the world and go, oh, heck no, and then flooded it themselves? I thought they wished for it to be flooded. Yeah, I thought it was just something the goddesses did themselves. At which point, I would maybe say maybe the goddesses broke it apart. I, th I th just th looked down and said, "Nah, I think we've had enough of this bull crap. I um, gonna flood the world, break the Triforce. Keep guys don't get that crap anymore." I think if I'm trying to remember correctly, the opening to Wind Waker mentions they made a because they waited for the hero to return, but because he never returned because he went back to the child timeline that they just wished for Hyrule to be drowned, and that they just all moved up to the mountains. Well, keep playing. I, I can't look it up, because I don't want to make noise. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. Except but, literally everyone who was at war for it. Shut up. I said a select few. That Everyone else died in that war. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. <gasps> His name's Ganondorf. Hmm. But they're missing an end. <laughs> oh, what's that? I've been banned from every form. <laughs> Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the light world. Well... Yeah, that happens. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. Can you tell me what these magical powers are? You have a magic meter. Is that not good enough for you? Because I have a sword and I've been stabbing guys. I haven't really been using magic. Yeah, you're also really low on life right now. Uh, yeah, and you're stuck in a crystal. So, uh, who saved who? Which only, uh, there are, are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No. Ganon, the king of darkness. Now that's quite the step up. Yeah. I guess you make that step once you make your wish on the Triforce, though. Kind of upgrades you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be a neat idea for, like, an anime or a game or something. Or a movie. Where the protagonist, like... Not a live action. Being... Not live action, no. <laughs> like, the protagonist being, like, the hero gets this, like, special magic power that's unique to them. But they just have, like, no talent for... inherent talent for magic, so they can't actually use it. I think you... So they just go around and friggin' stab everything and solve the save the world that way. Like a friggin' normal person. It's like, but you saved the world! You mean... anyone could have done that? Yeah, if they stabbed him enough! I, I have a feeling, like... One, you've described enough anime in the past 20, 30 years that do stuff like that. And two, you have basically described a subset of isekai. Where, like, instead of being the whole, like, oh, you're the most powerful badass in the world, and you have, like, overleveled stats, it's like, no, you're just the wiener, and you have to figure out how to be the most overpowered person in the world. It's almost the... it's almost Mashal. Okay, well, first off... Mashal was ripped as fuck, so... He put the work in, though! He put the work in for years, 